Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice algebra problem. And here we have n square minus n cubed is equals to 12. And we will solve this problem for the real values of n. So here you remember one thing is that uh, here we have this n belongs to R. So the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we move uh, this 12 in the uh, left hand side and we will get its output in the form of n squared minus n cubed minus 12 is equals to 0 and now we will multiply both of the sides by uh, minus 1 so that when you can multiply both of the sides by minus 1 then we will get its output in the form of minus n squared plus n cubed and plus 12 is equals to 0 and now in the next step we will rearrange the terms and we can write here n cubed minus n squared plus 12 is equals to 0 now we solve this cubic equation so here we rewrite this equation in the form of n cubed minus n squared and here you have plus 12 and we will write it as plus 8 and 4 and this whole is equals to 0 and now uh, we can rewrite this equation as n cubed minus n squared plus here you have 8 and we can write it as 2 cubed and here you have 4 and we write it as 2 squared and this whole equation is equals to 0 now we make the pairs of uh, cubic terms and the square terms so here you have the cubic terms are n cubed plus 2 cubed and here we take common minus from the uh, these two square terms so that we will get here minus times of n squared minus 2 squared and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here you see that we have two uh, uh, equations or two pairs one is cubic and other is square so here we need two formulas the uh, one is cubic and the other is square formula so you know about this these formulas if we have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a squared minus a b plus b squared so this is the cubic formula and after that we need here the square identity a squared minus b squared it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so now we can use here these two formulas so first we can apply the cubic formula on the first term and after that we apply the square formula on the second term so now we can uh, use here the cubic formula in the first term so uh, its first term will be written in the form of n plus 2 times of n squared minus 2 times of n plus 2 squared and minus here we apply the second formula which is n minus 2 times of n plus 2 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you focus on both of the terms and you see that n plus 2 present on both of the factors so that uh, we will take uh, common n plus 2 and we get its output in the form of n squared minus 2n plus here you have 2 squared is equals to 4 here we take common n plus 2 and you get minus times of n minus 2 and we multiply this minus sign on both of the factors and you get here minus n plus 2 and this whole is equals to 0 and now we can uh, simplify the terms and you get here n plus 2 times of n squared here you have minus 2n and minus n is equals to minus 3n and 4 plus 2 is equals to 6 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So here we have two cases. The first case is we take n plus 2 is equal to 0 and the other case is we take n squared minus 3n plus 6 is equals to 0. So in the first case you get the first real root which is n is equals to 
minus 2. So now in order to find the other real roots, we will solve this nice cubic equation, this nice quadratic equation, sorry. So now we move toward to solving this. So now first I can check that check that this quadratic equation has real roots or not because in this question we will need only the real roots. So that here I can use the discriminant formula to check the roots of this quadratic equation. So here we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 6. And you know about the discriminant formula is delta is equal to b squared minus 4 times of ac. And uh, you little, uh, I can um, here a uh, little bit explain this nice uh, discriminant formula. And you know about uh, this discriminant formula. If the value of uh, this delta is less than zero, then we can say that uh, this quadratic equation has no real roots. And if this quadratic equation has, if the value of this delta is greater than zero, then we say that this quadratic equation has two real roots. And similarly, if the value of this delta is equals to zero, then we say that this quadratic equation has uh, one real root. So now uh, we will check the behavior of this delta by putting the values of a, b and c uh, in this delta so that now we can just check here uh, this delta is equals to b squared minus 4ac and the value of b is minus 3 squared minus uh, 4 times of uh, a is 1 and c is 6 so that here you get minus 3 squared is equals to 9 minus 6 fours are 24 so that 9 minus 24 is equals to minus 16 and here you see that the value of this delta is less than 0 so according uh, to the this first case we say that this quadratic equation has no uh, real root so that we will just rejected this case and here we can uh, just uh, have the one real value of uh, the given equation and this real value be the n is equals to minus 2. So finally we can say that n is equals to minus 2 be the only real solution of this problem and this is the our final answer and thank you so much. For watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.